what is your way of reading a research paper do you have a specific way in which you read or or do you just read lots of them and over time you 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 become really good at it what are your views on this um, so uh, in the beginning uh, how i was reading it was very naive so i used to go from the start first word to the last word hmm. <laughs> and then i used to try to understand the whole thing line by line and then i i, I sort of sort of I, i i i felt that i was taking like maybe three days to read one paper okay and uh, then over time i i understood like you got to read like the abstract and uh, maybe the introduction a bit then go straight to the conclusions mm-hmm. and try to see what they have actually done and then try to understand for yourself hey okay this was the problem that they said mm-hmm. and this was the solution that they found and is it relevant to me okay uh, and then i try to think for myself hey if i were if i had to do this what would i do how how would i do it oh okay so uh, like and at a very uh, early stage you asked this question that if i were to do it then uh, how would i do it yeah sort of sort of like uh, mentally i would try to not like completely step by step but like yeah. what approach would i take okay okay uh, so this was something which i read as well uh, and i was following that so then uh, then i try to read the methodology and the experiments and so on so then then i want to see <coughs> have they done something different or have they done something conventional uh, something like that so so it sort of like helps you train it it's sort of like actively you're reading it so you sort of read the problem and you understand the problem and understand the total outcome so in the conclusions they don't say how they did it they just say what was the outcome of it mm. so then you you sort of try to analyze can you yourself try to uh, what would what would you do if you were in this situation mm-hmm. uh and then you see the methodology and the, so that's what i do and now at this stage i just like glance through the paper if if it's relevant to what i'm doing currently i read it in detail if mm-hmm. not i just like put it okay. into uh, an ice box um so uh, over time you you start reading a lot of them mm-hmm. per day you would read like 5 to 10 papers Uh, and you would glance through them very fast because you would try to get the the core idea aspect mm. and and you would be working on some uh, some topic and you would try to see okay i have a problem here and maybe for this particular problem maybe they have done something uh, something on this mm. then maybe that would be hidden somewhere in their experiment section one line maybe they 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 designed the data in this way or they <laughs> they designed something in 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 a particular way mm. or something like that so that would give me an idea to do something here so so uh, now more or less it's like a problem oriented approach so i have a problem and i'm i'm looking for papers which can solve this problem okay um before i was more reading in terms of to getting to know the field so hey uh, how how do what is going on here so so i think that that happens as you as you gradually read more okay. and more papers yeah, okay. yeah so so 